Good Sunday morning, good Sunday morning, good Sunday morning. I hope everyone has had a wonderful um, and blessed morning already. You know what I'm going to say first. If you are watching this program, then you have already been blessed with the breath of life. I have some wonderful, wonderful sermon notes for you today. Go ahead, grab your Bible or grab your devices and get out your notepad. The title of the sermon was Starve the Sacred Cow. Starve the Sacred Cow. The scripture reference was Exodus chapter 32 verses 1 through 4. Starve the sacred cow. God and Jesus both tell us to put God first. Who is the competition in your life? Idols are anything you put more or before God. A person, a pleasure, a pursuit, or a possession. It can be drugs, your house, your jewelry, even your degree of education that hangs on the wall. It's anything and anybody you put before God. They corrupt our sensibilities and always disappoint us. Anything that we put before God will corrupt our sensibilities and always disappoint us. Sorry substitutes for sacred God. The children of Israel was waiting for Moses to come down from the mountain and they couldn't wait so they made their own gods. They made a calf of gold and started worshiping it. These people had eaten manna and praised God. Now they are worshiping stuff and idols. They're worshiping a calf made out of gold. Don't end up bowing at the altar of materialism. Money takes care of things, but don't idolize it. It has God-like properties and attributes, but it is not of God. Don't miss that one. Money takes care of things, and it has God-like properties. That's why it says it ta it's, it's God-like properties because it takes care of things. But it is not God. Our sacred cows are sure to emerge during times of uncertainty. And those times of uncertainty are right now with what we've been going through since March of 2020. The children of Israel were unsure where Moses was. They were uncertain. So they took comfort in a golden cow. It's like on payday, you are happy, but the days before payday, you are uncomfortable and counting the days till payday. The same God is on the throne before you get your paycheck or the direct deposit hits. He is the same God that provides every day before payday. Check yourself. He is the same God that is there when you get a peak slip or you get fired and suddenly have no job. Sacred cows expose the quality of our faith. The children of Israel have walked across the Red Sea on dry ground. They had received manna daily. God had been taking care of them. The same God. The same God that brought you through chemo. The same God that brought you through the divorce. The same God that brought you through grief. The same God that brought you through someone hurting you. The same God. The silver and the gold belong to God. Remember that. Herd mentality. What is herd mentality? Herd mentality means we go with the crowd. Just like if you see a herd of cows or sheep, one goes in the direction, all of the other cows or sheep follow that other cow or sheep. 
It's called herd mentality. We just go with the crowd. We have a God that knows what we need, though. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Don't have a herd mentality. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You can't take nothing with you anyways. Designer this, designer that, expensive this, expensive that. Those things are nice, but you cannot take it with you when you die. Only what you do for God. Sacred cows elicit the anger of God. Sacred cows make God angry. God got mad when he saw the children of Israel worshiping a golden cow. God sees and knows all. God said, I don't believe this. The people I delivered, the people I delivered are down there worshiping a golden cow. God said, do you not remember all the plagues I performed? A golden cow getting the credit? Your job, your promotion, your education getting the credit? It is God that has brought you through. It is God that has brought you through. Money can buy you food, but it can't buy you no appetite. Money can buy you a house, but it can't make it into a home. Gold will melt, but God will always stand. Even in the fiery furnace, remember the four boys in the fiery furnace? God can stand even in the fiery furnace. Only God. Who is your idol? What is your idol? What is your golden calf today? I tell you what it is, whoever it is or whatever it is. Starve it. Starve it. Starve it. Get rid of it. Whatever your idol is that you're worshiping more than God, starve it and starve it. The Lord will deliver us from the sacred cow because he is our all. I tell you what, when the pastor preached about the sacred cow, when he first got started, I wasn't quite sure what it was going to be about. And I was like, the sacred cow, what, what could this possibly be? And by the grace of God, as soon as he got started, I mean, it just hit home. And I myself started just going through, oh, Lord, what things do I put before God? You know, what people, what do I idolize? Who do I idolize? And it hit me, um, it hit me uh, for when he said about, you know, payday. Um, so I said, well, yeah, we do that. We do that. We've all probably done that before payday. Or if we have a catastrophe or something that has happened in our lives, then we're waiting. Oh my God, I get paid on the 15th or I get, I get paid Friday, everything will be okay. But what we don't realize is God is already taking care of us. He is our payday. He has already given us the food, the appetite, whatever we may need, the manner bringing it to our day daily, uh, daily to even be getting to the job or waiting to go to the mailbox or having a mailbox or having a check to even get. And I love this because it brings us back to, to patience and making sure we rely on the Lord because the part where it said the children of Israel couldn't wait on Moses because Moses was up in the mountains speaking with God. And so they got uncertain. And that's another thing. We have to put our trust in God. Now, they knew the, that the, the, the God that had instructed Moses and uh, led the people out of Egypt. But then they forgot easily when Moses went to speak with God to get further direction. And they couldn't wait. They became uncertain and antsy and started their own thing. So let's not get off track either. That's easy to do. We got to wait on God. Wait on God and wait on the people that God uses you know, to bring us through things, you know, in the human realm. But I so enjoyed this today. Starve the sacred cow. Starve it. Starve it to death. Get rid of it. Focus on God only because that is who is going to be our saving grace. All right, starve your sacred cow. We're almost out of January already, just that quick. I want you to focus on starving that sacred cow. 
share this message out with everyone that you can so we can just start our 2022 out right and keep it going and stay on track. I wish you all a blessing today. May you be blessed. Love on your family. Love God first. Seek the kingdom of God first. Be blessed and if Lord willing, I'll see you again soon.